What's up guys, it's Euphoria here and today we're going to be looking at um, some tempo automation and um, time signatures. Uh, now, I've been reading a little bit around and um, it seems to be a common misconception that um, you can't change the time signature in Fruity Loop, so that's wrong, you can and this is how you do it. You click on options, you go down to um, project general settings and uh, here's your time signatures here so you can make it um, 7 over 4 or anything you want really um, but we'll keep it 4 over 4 for today but that's just how you do it um, I'm going to show you a way to um, automate the tempo of your track without running into too many issues um, so what you want to do is is you want to so let's say for instance making a track the track's going to start at 80 BPM it's going to slowly climb up to 120 and then drop back down to 110 where it's going to stay. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to set it to 80, 80 beats per minute. Right click on it and say create automation clip. Okay. Um, so now let's say this pattern runs over however many bars that is, right? Okay, so let's say for the first two bars, we want it to rise from 80 to uh, one, what did I say, 120. So you set it to 120, okay? You right click and say copy value. Drag this handle. Uh, say paste value, right? Then we want to keep it at 120 for a bit. So we've got 120 copy to the Freddy Loops on clipboard. So we'll keep that for a whole. Um, sequence of these chords it's a little bit of a weird um a weird uh, chord progression and then it's going to come back down to 115 over another one another loop and that's where it's going to stay for the rest of the track okay so the trick here is is whenever you want to change the tempo you need to s you need to move it up here so we put it to 120 we right clicked on it, we said copy value, and we pasted the value onto this handle here in, in your automation curve. Okay? We made another, um, well, it stayed like that, right? Yes, so it stayed at 120. So we made another handle here, right click, paste value. We then dropped it down to 115, set it to 115, right click, copy value, make the handle at where the track must um, become 115. Right click, paste, and the same for everything, and that can work for anything. Okay, so if we take a quick listen. now the track is staying at 120 Stayed 115 until the end. Okay, so that's that's how you do that. Um, when you are using loops and stuff like that, you have to make sure that they are snapped to to Fruity Loops' grid. Otherwise, you're gonna it's gonna run into some trouble. So what you want to do is you want to uh, uh, import your loop, detect the tempo, and make sure Fruity Loops knows what its tempo is. Um, uh, um, changing the tempo of, um, like progressively changing the tempo of samples is something we'll get into another day. That's more complicated. But your kicks and claps and that kind of thing for here, um, you won't have to worry about uh, setting the tempo for. Okay, so that's been a quick video on how to do this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button if you did. And um, see you guys soon.